How was your design week going? How was this character design going? Getting my confidence with uh, design, it took me a while um, just not committing to things. I also had difficulty this week trying to find or trying to make a cohesive design, make everything feel like it's, you know, part of the same character. One of your problem was basically to unify the design a bit more, right? I like that you took the feedback from me to push the shapes more. So this looks already more interesting. And it seems like you went for this triangle shape, which is really cool. And I think it works very well. What I would try to make sure that maybe also functionality needs to be a bit more explained here when it comes to the design. So if you do something like this, this can be really tricky to read. So it could be that someone could think that you are just don't know how a cape works, you know, especially when you do like a very frontal version of that. So I would suggest maybe make it less that strong, make it more simpler, you know, more like this. Yeah. And then on top of that, think about your shape design. So keep this, like I, I do it very simple now, just to showcase what I mean, but think about also about triangle shapes or maybe more interesting things you could, you could, you could take for that. So let's say maybe this is not one, thing maybe there is this maybe these are maybe two sometimes you also need to rotate the character in your mind or you basically can quickly also sketch out just the back view of the character because when we work in production the designer gives also a drawing to the 3d artist of the back view because the 3d artists need to understand and see the whole thing in itself so it's really important that we also think about this when we design the front how actually the back view is looking. Because think about games. So when you play a character in a third person, third person view, you basically see the character from behind all the time. So it is really important how the character looks from behind. Think about God of War, uh, think about Assassin's Creed. It is really important. So this is why it becomes more important when we design the front, because then everything has to work together. Okay, so little tip here, um, and you don't need to do it right away perfectly. So you don't need to draw the character right away uh, in a perfect uh, back view. What you also can do, um, it's also a very simple trick here. You basically just take what you have established, copy the whole thing, move it over the side, and then just um, make a white layer over it and just imagine you now draw over the back view, so to speak. Then you just yeah. think about what you wanted to translate here for the cape over the back view. So just seeing okay, like how could this look from behind, how is the readability of the silhouette and also how is this attached to the back stuff. This is really important because eventually when you work as a character artist you need to be able to do back views. Okay, So it's also interesting to see if the back view is also different from the front pattern. So when we have these cool shapes here, like how is the, is the back? Is it actually now a solid piece, right? So we can technically just copy this here, just copy the shape of the collar. Where, when we have stuff like belts, like where are the belts? Are the belts actually maybe attached to the back? They're also really cool. Like we need to think about how the the character is putting it on and what would be the coolest way as a player to see like that that it looks cool but also fits our shape design shape readability i hope this video was helpful for you if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you also want to get mentored by me make sure to check out my website janoschmanesart.zone and apply for the mentorship otherwise see you in the next video take care ciao ciao